Hi, math friends. Today we're looking at the volume of pyramids. So what is a pyramid? So a pyramid has a base, so it could be a square base, could be a triangle base, um, could even be a hexagon base, or an octagon base. Um, it could be any, any of these shapes could be its base. And what's going to happen is it's a 3D shape where each of these points on the base are going to come up to a point. You could probably picture a pyramid in your head, and I'll have some drawn better in later in this video too. So these are going to come up to get to a point. All right, so pyramids have a, a special relation to, to prisms. So if I think of a prism, and I'm going to look at the the square base one specifically. So if I have a square base, and if I have the prism, prism goes straight up and then it has the same shape on the other side. So the top is the same shape as the bottom. Um, if I'm looking at how these are related, it does have a special relation. So like this, the, the volume of this Compared to this, this is three times bigger than this. So the prism would be three times larger in volume. So we're going to take a look at an example side by side with that and see how that works. All right. So this rectangular prism, the bottom is a square and it's 11 by 11. This pyramid, the bottom is a square and it's 11 by 11. The height going straight up is 12 centimeters. The height going up of this is 12 centimeters. The differences with this pyramid, we should be able to see this, right? These are these slants in and come to a point, come, they come to a vertex. These go straight up and this face here is the same as it is on the bottom. So. If I'm looking at the pyramid version of this, it would be like this, and then it looks a lot neater over here. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate the volume here. So the volume of a prism, remember, is the area of the base times the height. Remember this capital B means area of the base. So here, area of the base, square or rectangle would be 11, would be length times width, so 11 times 11. And I'm going to put that in parentheses because that's the base itself. And then the height is going straight up for this would be 12. All right, so work that out. Um, we're going to make sure we do our order of operations correctly. 11 times 11 is 121. Um, and you should definitely be using your calculator for this too, times 12. And then when we compute 121 times 12, we should get 1,452. And since this is a volume, it's going to be the units cubed. So this is centimeters. So we have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. There's three of them you have centimeters cubed, all right? So now let's look at the pyramid. So remember the pyramid that's gonna have these going straight up um, and it's gonna have this point here to make a pyramid. So the volume of a pyramid is going to be very similar. It's going to be the area of the base times the height and then something really special happens. Um, I like to say divide by three. You can also say times a third. So we divide by three here. All right, so let's see how that works out and how it compares. Um, area of the base again, this capital B, 11 times 11. The base is still the same. Okay. And then times the height, so going straight up, that's 12. And then at the end, we'll divide by 3. 
So 11 times 11, again, is 121. Okay, when we multiply, we get 1,452. And then we have this divide by three now. So at the end, we get 484. And it's going to be centimeters cubed. All right, so really similar. The only thing is this is a third of that. And that makes sense because if I if we go inside of this to make a pyramid, we're actually getting less volume. We're taking away part of that too. So it's going to be a third of that size. Let's see one more example of this too. Um, here we'll just see just this triangle-based pyramid. Um, so looking at this, what is the base? So when I look at the base, I want to look generally look at this part right here. So the base is a triangle. Um, and specifically, it's a right triangle because I do have a right angle right here. So let's go ahead and redraw that. So this triangle would be like this. And let's look, and sometimes it might be hard to see these dimensions here. 10 is going across here, so I'm going to put 10 here. 8 is this length here. And then 6 is over here on the side. And it does have this right angle. So this right angle I'm taking from here. All right, so we're going to use that to help calculate the volume. Um, the volume for any pyramid, we're going to use that same formula. Volume equals area of the base times height, and then divide by 3. All right, so we need to remember how to find the area of the base for a, uh, tri for a triangle. Area of a triangle if we don't remember, is half of its base times its height. And we get that by this right angle here. So we're going to use the numbers that are adjacent to the right angle, these measurements. So 6 times 8. We're not even going to worry about the 10 here because we're, we're dealing with the area of this thing. And then since we're working with the volume of the whole thing, the height... So this is where it gets tricky. The height is going straight up this entire solid. So that's 12. And then we do have to remember to divide the whole thing by 3. All right. If we're starting to get a little bit lost in here, we have to remember order of operations. So 1 half times 6 times 8. Do 6 times 8 first. That's 48. And if we take half, that means that we divide it by 2. So I have 24. And then we'll rewrite the rest times 12. Divided by 3. All right. So order of operations, left to right, top to bottom, 24 times 12. We get 288. And then that's still divided by 3. And then when we divide that by 3, we get 96. And again, look at the units. Feet. These are all in feet. So it's going to be feet cubed.